Now, schools that could benefit from the bill are still struggling to find enough support staff, not just teachers, but support staff this school year. CBS 2's Angela Colonel is live in studio now after talking to a local leader of education about why it's happening and possible solutions to the problem. Well, West Ada's Education Association president says it's not just one thing, but several things that add up like low pay, increased responsibility on staff schools do have, and attacks on educators. We're already in a, in a state of crisis, but where we're going to be 10 years from now, I... I'm terrified to know. Zach Borman taught for West Ada for 10 years. Now he's the president of its education association. Over the last three years, he's seen the support staff shortages get progressively worse. He says throughout the pandemic, educators and classified staff had to do a lot, even clean their own classrooms. It's not a part of the job description, you know, and it's not something that you always have the time or the energy to do. That extra responsibility, he says, leads to burnout and more turnover. We can't ask the the people that do show up to do the work to just do twice as much of it for the same just like bare minimum payment. We want to be able to take care of our staff so that way they're in the education game long term. They need a lot more love than they get, I think. Especially school support staff. Borman says for many, it doesn't make financial sense to work at a school. In West Ada, they did get a pay increase over the summer. I still think that there's there's more that needs to be done to, to really make this, to, to fill the need that we have. Over the last couple of years, he says attacks on educators have made it even harder for people to come to work each day. Teachers are here to do good, to, to make positive impacts on people's lives, not to indoctrinate and do any sort of nefarious things with, with America's youth or whatever. It provokes so much anxiety and, and fear and stuff like that, and, and that's not what people got into this profession to live with. And he says support needs to come from district leaders, not just other educators. We count on good administration that have our with feeling that the administration really has your back that they are going to really do due, dil, due diligence and, and follow due process and and believe and have faith in their their teachers that's that's an important step